Hi there. In this video, we're going to talk about solving equations with rational numbers. The first thing we want to talk about is what's a rational number, and that simply is just a fraction. Okay? So when you see a rational number, when you see that word, um, you know, the first word in that is ratio, and ratio means fraction. Okay? So what I want to talk about is some operations with fractions. And the first one that I want to talk about is multiplication and division of fractions. So let's just quickly look at um, how we do this. So if I were to take the number, say, one-third and multiply it by five-six, okay, then what we want to do is we simply just want to multiply across. So my new fraction would be one times five over three times six. 1 times 5 simply gives us 5. 3 times 6 is 18. All right, so that's how we multiply fractions. Now, if I were to take 1 third and divide it by 5, 6, then what I want to do is take keep my original fraction and multiply by the reciprocal, which is 6 fifths. So what I'm doing here is I'm rewriting this, keep my number the same, change my sign from division to multiplication, and then flip my fraction, okay? And then we just multiply like we had been, all right? So 1 times 6 gives us 6. 3 times 5 gives us 15. Now, each of these numbers are divisible by 3, okay? And so when I have that, um, I can simplify this then down to 2 um, over... So 6 divided by 3 is 2, 15 divided by 3 is 5, so that'd be 2 fifths. All right, so just something, uh, just some ways that we can operate within fractions. Now, one thing I want to do um, is, is talk about this example here. If I were to take the number 3 and multiply it by 1 third, how would we do that and why does this work? All right, so the first thing I want to do is rewrite 3 as a fraction, and I would write that as 3 over 1 times 1 over 3. Now, when I multiply these, what I end up getting is I end up getting 3 times 1, which is 3, and then 1 times 3, which is also going to give me 3. Now, when I have this, you always look to see at the end of a, when after you've, you know, done your operation, check to see what happens here, because I can do 3 divided by 3, and that is going to simply give me 1. Okay? This is very important that we understand how this works, okay? Because we're going to use this concept, um, you know, to help us solve equations with rational numbers. So on something like this, <clears throat> uh, if we're trying to solve this equation for x, it's a little bit trickier when we have these kinds of fractions in here. So this tells me that if I take one-third multiply it by some number x, add 2, we'll get negative 3. What's the value for x? So the trick is, is to look at your denominator, all right? Because what I can do is we can eliminate the fractions, all right? And that's the goal, all right? So if I eliminate the fractions, all right, what I can do is you multiply everything by the common denominator, Okay, um, and in this case, since we only have one common denominator, since we only have one uh, denominator here, all the other ones are one, what I want to do is multiply each term of this equation by that common denominator of three. And what happens here um, on this side, I'm going to put three over one here. Uh, let's do this. I've got three over one times... Uh, 1 over 3 times x plus, um, let's do 3 times 2 is going to give us 6, and then negative 3 times 3 gives us negative 9. Now, when I do this math over here, I can simply just multiply across. So 3 times 1 and 1 times 3 is going to give me 3 over 3 times x plus 6 is equal to negative 9. Now, when I look at 3 divided by 3, that's simply going to come out to be 1. So I have 1 times x plus 6 is equal to negative 9. All right, and from here, 1 times x is just x itself. So I am left with x plus 6 is equal to negative 9. 
Now my next step is to solve this for x, and this is a familiar problem that we're able to solve. And so what I, all I want to do from this point is just simply to, uh, subtract both sides by 6, and we get that x is equal to negative 15, and that's our answer, okay? Okay, so now on an, on an equation like this, I've got 3 eighths times a number x plus 3 fourths is equal to 2. Now in this one, we want to look at what's our common denominator. We want to be able to eliminate our fractions. So what we want to look for is this thing called the least common multiple, or the LCM. All right, so I'm going to look at both of my denominators, which is 8 and 4. Okay, and I'm going to find the multiples of 8. So 8, 16, 24. Uh, the multiples of 4 are going to be 2, 4, 6. No, hold on. going to be 4, 8, and 12. And what I want to look for is the least common number in both of those lists. All right, so my least common multiple in this case is going to be a value of 8. All right, so at this point, I want to multiply everything by that common denominator or my least common multiple by each term. So I want to multiply everything by 8, multiply by 8, multiply by 8. Now, at this point, um, we've got a lot of math to do. I'm going to put 8 over 1 for each of these. And so, as a result, um, let's, I'm going to do 8 times 3 and 1 times 8. So, 8 times 3 is 24. 1 times 8 is 8 times x plus 8 times 3, which is 24, over uh, 1 times 4, which is 4. And then that's going to be equal to 16. All right. So, at this point, what I want to do is simplify my fractions here. 24 divided by 8 is going to be 3. So I have 3x, and then 24 divided by 4 is 6, and that's equal to 16. And then what I want to do is subtract both sides by 6, all right? And then I'm going to get that 3x is equal to 10 minus 6, which is going to give me, or I'm 16 minus 6, which is going to give me 10. At that point, what I want to do is divide both sides by 3, and I get that x is equal to 10 thirds, okay? And that's my answer, all right? And it's okay if we get a fraction um, because, you know, fractions are numbers too, all right? So even though you go through all this work and you get a number like this, that's okay, all right? We want to make sure that we're able to, um, you know, correctly get the right answer here. Okay, now on something like this, um, again, my, my goal is to solve this for x. So I have x plus the number one-third is equal to one-fourth. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to um, eliminate my fractions, but what I want to do is come up with my least common multiple. So I take each of my denominators, three and four, and I'm going to write out the multiples of each. So the multiples of three are three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Multiples of four are going to be four, eight, twelve, and sixteen. Now, what I've got as my least common multiple is 12, all right? That's my least common number in both of those, and so my least common multiple is 12. And I'm going to multiply everything in this by 12, okay? And so when I do that, um, I'm going to end up getting 12x plus 12 over 1 times 1 over 3 is equal to 1 over 4 times 12 over 1. And I'm going to multiply across on each of these fractions. All right, so bring down your 12x plus 12 times 1 is 12. 1 times 3 is 3 is equal to 1 times 12 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4. Now I can simplify my fractions and write this as 12x plus 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. And so from here, I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides and solve this equation for x. Now, we'll get a fraction, and that's okay, but what I have here is I have 12x is equal to negative 1. Divide both sides by 12, and we end up with x equals negative 1 one twelfth as our answer, okay? So operating with these fractions and, and doing this, you just want to make sure that we can get rid of them so that when we operate with fractions, um, and we operate with these numbers, that they're easier numbers to work with, to solve an equation like this versus something like that. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.